Congratulations for purchasing your own resonant wand system. You made a very wise decision. Now you can enjoy the benefits of a frequency health system that can transform your life and the life of your family members for many years to come. Here's a tutorial how to set up your resonant wand system. When you receive your system, you'll get the case with the resonant wand and also the console and also some connection cables. The amplifier is purchased separately on a third party site. Just click the link on the site for the recommended amplifiers that you can get. Once you have received anything, now you can start connecting it together. So let's begin by connecting the amplifier and the wand. Take out the wand. Let's put away the case for now. And here's your amplifier. Right now it's off. So first, you want to connect the power cable here to a power outlet. Once you have that, now you connect the wand to the, to the amp. So you get the other end of the cable and you'll see a red and a black connection. So you can select any channel. This is channel one and this is channel two. So you can put it onto channel two. You put the red through the top, not through the front, through the top where you can see the hole. So you unscrew these and then you put it into the hole Red goes to red, black goes to black, and then you screw them in to tighten it up. And just pull lightly to make sure that it's, that it's connected. Now we're connecting the console. So here's the console. What we want to do first is to increase the volume on it to maximum. So if you look at the top here, there's a button. So you want to hit that button until maximum volume is shown. Now you want to select the frequency, hit light four source of chi, mid, and then increase the volume to maximum on that track. Click play, click repeat, and then it will start playing the, the sound. And you should be able to hear the sound from the tablet itself. Now that the sound is playing, you want to connect this mini jack cable to the headphone jack on the end of the tablet. Now you have this on the other end of that console. So you want to plug this into this part here, which is the input. So red goes to red and white goes to white. So now you have everything connected. Now you want to turn the volume to zero and then turn on the amp. Press the power button there. And then if there's a signal go going properly from the console to your amp, then you can see some little activity on the channels. So since we connect it to channel two, then we can raise the volume here and you can see that the volume moves up and down. That shows that there's a signal going into the amp. And if it's working properly, as you can see, the, the magnet would start vibrating as, as you can see here. If you're not feeling a vibration or buzzing in the magnet, just go back and repeat the steps and make sure all the connections are connected. It could be you haven't turned up the volume completely on the app and also on the tablet. The RCA cable may be not connected. Maybe you didn't turn on the amp power. Maybe you didn't turn on the volume on the amp. Make sure that the amp is getting power. If it's getting power, it should have a green light there. Make sure that your wand is connected properly to the terminals in the back. There's one more extra setting that's important if you want to get the most power from your amplifier. So press this button here, menu select, and then it should light up the screen. Now press it again. You might have to press really hard and here you see amp mode, crossover, and input sensitivity. Click next twice, one, two, and now you selected input sensitivity. Click menu select again. And usually on preset, it will be set to normal. So what you do is you press next, so you highlight 0.775V high. Now the sensitivity is on high. And you press menu select again, and then you go just exit. And now it has a higher sensitivity. So once again, congratulations for owning your own resonant wand system. I hope this transforms your life, and I'll see you soon.